Coming with a uh, edifying lesson, uh, you know, just you know, cutting down this uh, uh, this um, holiday spirit, you know, this whole spirit of mirth and and, and uh, uh, um, you know, uh, fake love and fake emotions and fake values, and, you know, fake things and all of that, you know, going in on Thanksgiving. Um, and just getting to the truth and the heart of the matter, because um, you know the spirit got us going into these uh, these Christians and their false doctrine, and and, and you know how they use the scriptures uh, in the most unlearned manner. You can use them. Um, pastors out here that that's uh, constantly uh, opposing the spirit and the truth of the Bible. Okay, for filthy Lucas' sake, and um, you know. Just to, to basically pull down strongholds, as the scripture says. Um, so, like I said, you know, we want to go into the Thanksgiving spirit and uh, just to uh, edify and show our people that Yahweh Bashmi was shy, the power of uh, the, um, the universe, the creator, him and his son, is not down with this. Um, um, oh, and if I have it, it's a lucky. Uh, we give double honor to the apostles and shout uh, along to the elders and the brothers that's pushing this uh, this truth and sincerity and faith. Okay. Huh. Um, uh, so uh, I want to start with a scripture first. Uh, the first scripture that I, that I want to get. Uh, you know, I read it out. Um, is. Uh, one second. This is uh Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. And it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? And we're in a war. Like I said, we got we're in the spirit now of opposing uh the Christians and these different um uh false philosophies out here that's coming against the truth. We're spiritually warned against um, Satan and his devices. That's why it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, because they're spiritual. It says, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, okay? Christianity, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, your birthday, Easter, all these all these things are strongholds that are, are um, uh, Warping and entrapping the spirit and the minds of uh, the Israelites, the so-called black men and Native Americans. So the Most High set us up to pull those things down and let you know what it really is, and let you know what the truth is and how you're supposed to apply true wisdom, okay, from day to day. Not 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 thinking that you know um, uh, the so-called white man is is is, is uh, your friend, okay, for one. Dealing with this Thanksgiving, so-called white man came over here and he's part of the Native American Indians, straight up. Okay. Without, without, without mercy, bro. Done. All right. Uh, one more verse. It says, "Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai." Okay. So that's our, that's our duty to bring everything to the obedience and understanding of the how about Shemi was shot. That's right, okay. bro. That's right, bro. And uh, obviously, you know, in this world today, you know, everything is upside down. Even Jake understanding right now the topic is Thanksgiving. You know, even Jake understanding of what Thanksgiving is all about. Okay, mm -hmm. that in itself needs to be flipped right side up and exposed. Okay. And uh, for the most part, brothers do it every year, but we at the end of the end of the railroad, so to speak. So it's time to just bring it all the way out, man. Just push it further, elbow that whole spirit to death, man. Come, come, yeah. Come. Um, 
Mm-hmm. No, I'll just jump right into the article I was holding, bro. Yeah, come. Yeah, come. Go so, ahead. Huh? From there. This is from um, Indian Country uh, Media Network. And um, bear with me just a second, man. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the so-called white man with these pilgrims, they came over here to America, all right, because they wanted to, uh, to come into the new world and set up their uh, their uh, their headquarters, their kingdom. Started with Christopher Columbus. Then you had the conquistadors, the British, the Portuguese. They all came over to this side of the world to have their stake in what was over here. And, and what was over here was the Israelites. Okay, the so-called Native Americans are the tribe of Gad, according to, to the scriptures. Okay, that's the true nationality, the true ethnicity, the true race. The Native Americans are the tribe of Gad. Okay, um, um, Parthon, let me know when you're ready. Uh, I'm just gonna speak for a little bit more. Shaka Salafia, bro, I got the article up. It says, uh, <laughs> Okay. This is from India country, Indian Country Media, Media Network dot com, and it says six Thanksgiving myths and the Winnipeg side of the story. Now I'm not going to go too deep into the article, but I'm just going to read the part that pertains to what we were speaking about. It says uh, the Thanksgiving Day celebration originated from a massacre in 16, 1621. Though pilgrims celebrated a feast, it was not repeated in the years to follow. In 1636, a murdered white man was found in his boat, and the Pequot were blamed. In retaliation, settlers burned the Pequot villages. All right. It also says, um, additionally, English Major John Mason rallied his troops to further burn the Pequot wigwams and then attacked and killed hundreds of more men, women, and children. According to the Mason's report of the massacre, we must burn them. Such a dreadful terror, let the Almighty fall upon their spirits that they would flee from us and run into the very flames. Thus did the Lord judge the heathen, filling the place with their dead bodies. Now, you know, that's, that's kind of ironic, okay? Because they're the heathen. <laughs> They will be running to them flames. Yep. The ones that are here in, in America. And um, also, when when we get finished with them in the kingdom of heaven, they go going to them flames. Now they can't burn that. Is there uh, something playing on your screen or something? Oh, Shalak, hold on. Let me check. Bear with me just a moment. Okay, come. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I want to say this too. Um, uh, <clears throat> that just goes to show you how much of a devil the so-called white man is, okay? Because during the time of Christopher Columbus, when he came over here, he had nothing but uh, 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 good things to say about the natives that were over on this side of the world. When he landed yeah. over there in the uh, Caribbean, you know? He said they were peaceful people. He hasn't met another people like them. Okay, it was some accounts that certain tribes didn't have weapons. Okay, they didn't know what guns were, anything like that. But here it is: you got these these uh, these devilish Christians come over here. Okay, so-called Christian, these pilgrims. All right, to use the Bible. All right, in a malicious way to justify doing what they did to the Pequot Indians. Okay. Blaming uh, uh, the death of one man on a whole tribe. You know? That's wickedness, man. Okay? Con. That's, That's wickedness, bro. But just, go ahead, bro. What was you going to say? Yeah, well, I was just saying that, that you know, from what you was reading in the article, okay, um, because um, the so-called white man, he's not about justice. It's not about truth, okay? He doesn't do any true investigating. Okay, he just blamed the whole tribe. Okay, those settlers that was there at that time, 
okay? And they proceeded to burn down the villages, man. Okay? That's something only, only a devil would do. And you know what? Reference, the same thing happened in, uh, in uh, I believe it was, uh, it was, it was the movie uh, Rosewood. Yeah, okay? Time, bro. So called white man blamed this Jake for raping this white woman and, and proceeded to tear down the whole, you know, the whole neighborhood. Yeah. You know? God. That's how the white man operates, man. Okay. And this is really what our, our people are uh, uh, um, being deceived to celebrate to this day. Because once those Native Americans, those uh, uh, Gadites, okay, once they were um, destroyed, all right, and I believe the article is going to go into it. They, um, the uh, those pilgrims celebrated their victory over them, their chief. Right. Okay, that's what Thanksgiving was all about. It was them thanking, thanking uh, um, God, as they call him. Okay, all right, for for revenge on the Pequot Indians. Okay, kind, kind, bro, kind. That's exactly what it was about. It's going to go into that, too. Come. I'll go ahead and finish reading it. It says, the governor of Plymouth, William Bradford. So the governor wrote about this, too, during that time. He said, those that escaped the fire were slain with the sword. Some hewed to pieces, others run through with rapiers, so that they were quickly dispatched. Very few escaped. It was conceived they thus destroyed about 400 at this time, and it was a fearful sight to see them thus frying in the fire. Man said Jake was frying in the fire, man. Horrible was the stink and scent thereof, but the victory seemed a sweet sacrifice, and they gave the prayers thereof to God who had wrought so wonderfully for them. Good. Now, <clears throat> now let me say this, all right. Dealing with what what happened to the Native Americans from the you know uh, uh, the uh, pilgrim settlers that was over here, that was all prophecy, okay? Because right. the tribe of Gad, which are the Native Americans, okay, they are part of the Northern Kingdom of Israel, okay, underneath the leadership of the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, all right. And it was prophesied by the prophet Hosea that because of the rebellionness of the house of Israel, the Most High was going to send an enemy to slaughter uh, those tribes, okay? Start with Ephraim, okay? Now, uh, uh, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this scripture, okay? This is um, Hosea chapter... Hosea chapter 5 and 3. It says, I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom, and Israel is defiled. They will not frame their doings to turn unto their power, for the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them, and they have not known the Lord. Because when you go over here, or when you go into a, uh, when you go into a, uh, what the Native Americans were worshiping over on this side of the world, okay, the Gadites, okay, they were worshiping other gods, okay, all right? Oh, they were worshiping gods of, of the elements, all right? They had a different name for the equator, I mean, it's like a, for the creator, okay? They wasn't keeping the commandments and the statutes that they kept in the land of Israel, okay? Not fully, not holy, okay? Now we do understand that, that they did keep the fringes and the border of blue, you know, and certain customs uh, uh, were, were still kept. But as a whole, mainly the, uh, the worshiping of the name Yahweh, they wasn't keeping that, okay? Uh, All right? Because the uh, Most High was punishing them for what they did, okay? Uh, it do uh, say in, in the scriptures it say, bro, that we're not supposed to have no other guys before the Lord, man. And that's they, right. They went off, bro. They went off all the way. Mm -hmm. But yo, right, as usual, you know, Esau 
they 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 went overboard, man. They went all the way overboard, and they was given the green light to do so. They were supposed to do it because it's gonna be righteous retribution for that. But again, bro, they went overboard. Okay, one the death of one man that they really couldn't even prove that they did it. And they killed over 400 people. Right. When and that's and just what the point. Go ahead, uh, what were you saying? I was saying that's just what was recorded. Yeah. You know? That doesn't in include, uh, 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 you know, the other tribes in the area. You know? Yeah, kind. You know? Kind. And the article go into that. But I'm not going to go into all of those parts. I just wanted to get the, the part where it originated from. But um, okay. Okay. I think it's still a little bit more, but I'm going to uh, read a little bit more. Bad, more. Okay, okay, come, go ahead. All right. all right, say the day after the massacre, William Bradford, who was also the governor of Massachusetts Bay Colony, wrote that from that day forth shall, it, shall, be, a, shall be a day of celebration and thanksgiving for subduing the Pequots and for the next 100 years every Thanksgiving day ordained by a governor was in honor of the bloody victory thanking God that the battle had been won. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so that's part of the uh, that's, that's, that's the, the truth behind your Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was a uh, 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 thanking of the victory of the battle that the pilgrims had over the Pequot Indians, okay? uh -huh. and the Native Americans in that in that uh, in that area. Okay. Uh -huh. um, um, it says <laughs> I, I'm gonna read that part again. It says for the next 100 years, every Thanksgiving Day ordained by a governor was in honor of the bloody victory. Thanking God that the battle had been won. That's what you're celebrating, okay? Now, the Native Americans, like I said before, they're the tribe of Gad, okay? All right, those are our brothers, okay? Huh. From the different tribes, our cousins, you know? That's our family, you know? So when you're giving thanks, okay, that's what you're really honoring. Okay, you're giving credence to these to uh, the uh, the God of the so-called white man, which is really Satan. Okay, on the left hand side of the Most High, punishing the Native Americans for their rebelliousness. Okay, what is it? Kind. and you know, right now, right now today. Okay, most Jake don't know that, and. Uh, they just going off, man. Like even right now, my folks, they cooking ham and other cool shit, man. Yeah, you're coming, yeah. Okay, and I've been telling their ass since I woke up, man, just to leave that shit alone. Okay, but Jake, man, Jake, love, just love the darkness, man. They don't like knowledge. They don't want to hear the truth, mm -hmm. and they definitely don't want nobody to sport rain on their parade, so to speak. Okay, and uh, you know, I'll just get a just a precept, man. Because just for Jake, Jake doing that, man, they, they destroyed now. They're going to be destroyed in, in the end of the world, man, the day of the Lord. Right. Physically, they're going to be destroyed. Huh. <laughs> they, they could, because their minds and their spirits destroyed now. But then the most high just going to take the whole, the whole, the whole being. Huh. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. And you are the children of your forefathers, you know, right now. And you are destroyed. Okay? And because you're not going to want to get it in these last few days and seconds and times, you don't want to get it. You don't want to get that you need to turn away from the, the way of the heathens, man. You gotta under, you, you need to understand that this has nothing to do with you. You're gonna be destroyed, man, for some some GMO turkey and a, and a piece of bullshit abominable ham. You're gonna be destroyed for that, man. And your and your half ass jovial spirit, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Jake's gonna be destroyed. For 
gun. <laughs> now, <laughs> hey, check this out, right? This is uh, Hosea 7 and uh, 13. It says, Woe unto them, for they have fled from me, destruction unto them, because they have trans transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. <laughs> so the Most High is going to get you, uh, 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 you wicked natives, okay, you wicked Judites, and you know the rest of you tribes out there, okay, for your lack of judgment and understanding. All right, it says, it says, and they have not cried unto me with their heart when they howled upon their beds. They assembled themselves for corn and wine. And they rebel against me, and they rebel against me. That's what they're doing now. They're they're assembling themselves to celebrate these things with no understanding, and that's rebellion, rebelliousness against the Hawa Bashi Miyawashai. Khan, Khan, what you know about that, bro? The scriptures say rebellious is as the sin of witchcraft, man, yeah. and we're not supposed to allow witches to live, man. Okay, we're not supposed to do that. Man. So Jake just unknowingly just. Just being an asshole and a demon and a wicked ass child, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the Lord gonna be justified when He put them to death, man. I'll get a um, another precept, man. This is um, this is Isaiah sixty-five and twelve. It says, um, therefore. I will number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, you did answer. And we calling out now, bro. We calling out. We call out every weekend on the highways and byways. Every time a man put a video on the internet, every time a brother do a sit down, every time a brother sit down and try to explain what's going on with Jake in the world, even the, even the conversations that don't get recorded, bro. The angels catching all of that. All of that is being recorded, bro. Because when the Lord called, I'll read that again. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. And the Lord is speaking through us. He's speaking through the prophets, man. And Jake don't want to understand what we're saying. Okay? Jake want to eat turkey and ham and half-ass macaroni and cheese. And other boys, so Jake want to just have his cake and eat it too. Well, not so, Jake. Your ass is going to be grass, okay? For the ones of you that don't want to turn around, that's two thirds of you in Babylon, okay? When I spake, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes. And you're doing evil right now, okay? Instead of hearing what we got to say about what the scripture is saying. Instead of listening to us as we distinctly break down the scriptures and tell you how and why you're not supposed to celebrate and do these things, you want to choose to do evil before the Lord's eye, man. And he's going to kill you, man. He's going to kill them. They're going to die. They're going to die for that, man. And then choose that when I delight at night. And the Lord don't delight in uh, Thanksgiving, man. He don't delight in none of these holidays. Okay, he, he don't delight in foolishness. The Lord said even the thought of foolishness is, is sin, man. The fact that Jake want to celebrate the destruction of their ancestors, that's foolishness. Right. Total it's total it's total folly. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna read I'm gonna go ahead and read the prophecy dealing with that. Dealing with that to be taken down in that manner. Right, this is uh, uh, Genesis chapter 49. It says, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Because that's the future prophecy to come. But the troop, which is the so called white man, which were the pilgrims and the settlers and Christopher Columbus and the different uh, 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 Edomite doors that came over here, they overcame this 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 uh this uh this land. They took down and not just Gad, but they took down the tribe of Reuben, which are the Seminole Indians, and they uh -huh. took down the Israelites, which are the so-called Mexicans today as well. 
Okay. okay? From Canada all the way on down. Okay. okay? All throughout this uh this uh this continent. Okay? Because the most I said that they were to be that they were to be um, um overcome. Now I'm gonna read this scripture. This is back in Hosea. This is Hosea 13. And uh and uh 16. It says Samaria shall become desolate, for she has rebelled against her God, her power. Huh. They shall fall by the sword. And like we just read in the article, over 400 men of the Pequot Indians, okay, was uh destroyed from them villages, man. Okay. Yeah. It says, their infant shall be dashed in pieces, and their women with child shall be ripped up. Okay, now Samaria is is uh, uh, dealing with Ephraim as the head tribe, but that happened horrendously to the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. That happened to the rest of the Northern Kingdom as well. Okay? Wow. The Northern Kingdom was, was slaughtered over here on the side of the world, man. Yeah. Okay? They were sold into slavery, too. They went on yeah. slave ships back to Spain. Kind okay. and, it, and it's history on that, bro. They don't teach us that in school. But if you take the time out and, and, and you know spend your time either digging in history books at a library, or if you know which books to buy, they're going to be a little expensive. But if you read those books, it'll tell you how they went into a slave. They went on to them ships first, and they experienced those atrocities of those slave ships first, and they got through off the sides of the ships too. So yeah, bro. You know, and people try to um, not not even people. You know, the 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 rejected, the reprobate minds of the ones that know that they're Israel. They try to discount the the Indians like they not really Israel because they ain't go through all the curses. A lot of through a lot of those curses they went through first, and it's just not known to the masses. It's not pushed out there in school. You know. Mm. But yeah, bro. Um, I got a I got a precept too, man. Because see, the Lord ain't ain't forget, man. He ain't gonna let that go, man. This is um. See if I can do it. He ain't gonna let that go, man. You eat a mic, man. You think it's, You thought you you pulled a fast one, and you think everything is cool, man. But it's not cool, man. Bear with me uh, just a few seconds, all right? There we go. This is uh, Amos 1 and 11. It says, Thus saith the Lord, for three, three transgressions of Edom, Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. So, for four transgressions, all right? Turn away the punishment of the Edomites, okay? There's nothing nobody can do. I know Jay like to holler, what about forgiveness? What about forgiveness? Well, it don't apply to them, man. If the Lord not going to forgive them, you can give your petition up. Okay. This is, um, I would not turn away the punishment thereof because he did to his, pursue his brother with the sword. And as you can see in that article, he did pursue them with the sword. Okay, yeah. and, and destroyed. Them. Okay, and did cast off all pity. You might have some show no pity on the, the women of them tribes, on the elderly, on the children. You didn't show no pity. You don't show no pity today. But you damn show ain't throw no pity. Show no pity on on the event during the events that led up to your celebration of Thanksgiving. Okay, and his anger did tear perpetually. It did. You, you, you violently went with no remorse, just went through, just went through the, the tribe of Gad, man, and through every other tribe in this country, man, on this hemisphere, side of the hemisphere. Okay? Um, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. And your wrath is kept forever to this very day. You hate us, and you plan on destroying us. Okay, because Revelation 12 and 12 is, is facts. Okay, whether you know the other, the, the rest of 
Jake can understand it and see it coming or not. Okay, it don't matter if they can see it or coming. As as wrong, I'll get Romans three and three. There was just a moment. Okay, this is Romans three and three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their belief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Okay, so what if you don't believe? What if you don't? So what if you don't understand that? Um, is going to give these Edomites that power to come down with great wrath. So what if you don't believe that it's coming? You think it's going to make the words of the Lord without effect? I'll finish reading the verse and say, Most high forbid. Yeah, let let God be true, but every man a liar. Okay, so let the words of the Lord be true, man. And all the thoughts of all the thoughts, the vain thoughts of man that are against the scriptures, let it, let it be found a liar, man. You know, um, as it is written, as it is written, okay, as it is written in the book, man, the, the whole scriptures, because every prophecy in this book is going to come to pass, man, whether Jake wanted to accept it, believe it or not, okay. But kind, bro. Yeah, um, let's see, hold on one second. I, okay. I uh, have some more information I have want to bring out. Really cool. I just want to see if I can pull it back up real quick. Come, come. Yeah, man, but just just because Jake want to remain in darkness, man, that don't mean that the Lord going to delay what he got going on. Okay? Or or he's, he's not going to judge who he said he's going to judge. Okay? It's, it ain't going to be no mercy shown, man. That's that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read some of this that I got right here, which is from uh, Manitaka.org, which is it's it's uh entitled "The Real Story of Thanksgiving" by Susan Bates. Now, brothers, a lot of brothers have brought this article out over the years, right? But I just want to bring out this one point. It says, most of us associate the holiday with happy pilgrims and Indians sitting down to a big feast. And that did happen once. It says, the story began in 1614 when a band of English explorers sailed home to England with a ship full of Patuxent Indians bound for slavery. All right? Now, this goes into Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28. Verse 68. Now, it's not heavily publicized about what happened to the Native American Indians during the slave trade, but it was an Atlantic slave trade. You had people already over here that was being conquered first. Then they went to West Africa and got uh, 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 Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. God. Okay, so-called Negroes, the West Indians, and the, uh, the Haitians, okay, and brought them over to this side of the world. That was right. only after they were shipping the Native Americans and the, and the, the uh, Hispanic tribes back and forth to Europe and everywhere else. Okay? Right, bro. It says, it says, uh, 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 I just had it. It says, uh, to like it. <clears throat> it says they left behind smallpox, which virtually wiped out those who had escaped. By the time the, the pilgrims arrived in Massachusetts Bay, uh, they found only one living Patuxent Indian, a man named Squanto, who had survived slavery in England. So he was an Indian. So you got a lot of neighbor, you got a lot of Gadites in uh, the UK over there. Con. It says and it says they knew their language. Right, and talked about how he taught them how to how to fish and, and, and peace treaties and all of that. But then it says, uh, uh, I'm just going to read this. It says, but as word spread in England about the paradise to be found in the new world, religious zealots called Puritans began arriving by the boatload, finding no fences around the land they considered it to be in the public domain. And, you know, the scriptures even call America the land of unwalled villages. Oh, yeah, kind, kind, bro. In the book of Ezekiel. 
You know, and even to this day, America is in a state of comfort because of, of its military might. That's right. That's mm -hmm. why it's known as the virgin daughter of Babylon. It's never yep. really been touched. Come. And ain't no wars been fought here, really, except for the civil wars. But them don't count. <laughs> you know? <right. laughs> they, don't, they don't count. Come. Nah, your, your true enemies haven't had a chance to touch your ass just yet. Oh yeah, it's coming, and that's on, and 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 that's going to be the Lord's going to do that because of what the so-called white men Esau, Edom, these Edomites uh, have done to the Native Americans. Huh. What they've done, Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is a the Most High's going to judge these Edomites for Thanksgiving for what they did that in that time period. All huh. right. I got a precept. Says, okay, Constable Lock, y'all. Let me just finish this. It says. It says, joined by other British settlers, they seized land, capturing strong young natives for slaves and killing the rest. Uh, it says, but the Pequot nation had not agreed to the peace treaty Squanto had negotiated, and they fought back. The Pequot War was one of the bloodiest Indian wars ever fought. And, uh, uh, I had it earlier. But there was uh, something I read where it, it talked about how the Native Americans were being shipped back and forth to Europe on ships. Yeah. You know? Huh. And that's just the, the, uh, a true testament of, 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 of the scriptures and its prophecies coming to pass and who the children of Israel are. Because our people are lost, man. Our people are stuck in Christianity. They're stuck in, in, in Islam. They're stuck in uh, 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 Kemeticism and all this, this black power bullshit, you know. They're stuck in believing in America, not understanding that the true origin of the things that they've been, been, been blindly believing in is all about slaughter and genocide, man, and, and, and destruction of their own people. You know, uh, of their own people, okay? Uh, um, um, let me see here. Okay. Uh, well, I should have been 2014. Um, Okay, okay, so you said you had a precept about Salaki. Yeah, I got a precept, bro. This is uh, Psalms 137 and 7, okay? Just going back into what we was talking about on them not being touched and how the Lord ain't going to let them, just let them slide with that, okay? Oh, well, God. It is worse. Um, yep. This is 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, whom said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. And that's right. The Lord is going to give us that power to reward you. Exactly like you did us. You're going to pay for every blood, every drop of blood you ever spilt, man, from each tribe. You're going to pay for it. Yeah. So blood many lifetimes over. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, until, until it's time to gather you up and totally uh, 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 burn you away. Okay. You know? Okay. Verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So exactly how you how you killed our children. Yeah, we heard the stories about how you used to cut the, cut the babies out of uh, the women's stomach and dash their heads against the stones. We're going to do you that same way. We're going to cook your ass on fire. We're going to fuck your children up. We're going to beat the hell out your women. We're going to fuck you up in front of your women. Okay? You're going to pay for what you did, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And that's because it says they shall know that they are but men and not yeah. God. That's right, so These bro. heathens start with the so-called white man. These heathens think they're gods and they, they have power because the Most High is using them to punish us. Well, the Most High, hey, our punishment is over, man. Okay? Yeah. All right? You're going to have to pay for everything you did, man. Okay. All right? Uh, can I read this up? Go ahead, uh, What was you going to say? 
Uh, I just want to read this precept. Were you done with that? Oh, yeah, kind. That was it on that, bro. Okay. This is uh, Lamentations 4, and, uh, and, and this goes hand-in-hand -hand with what you just read. Lamentations 4 and, uh, and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, which is the uh, daughter of Babylon. Because Edom runs Babylon now. Edom is, 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 is the ruler over this new spiritual Babylon here in America. Okay? Huh. White man. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. Okay? The cup also shall pass through unto thee. So the cup and punishment that we receive for rebelling against the Most High, you're going to have to you're going to have to receive that punishment for touching the apple of the Lord's eye, which is the nation of Israel, for furthering the affliction. Okay. Yeah. All right. Damn, bro. The Most High put you in a trick bag. You you had no business touching us, man. Slaughtering us, mocking us, making days rejoicing over your victory over our people. You had no business doing that. So therefore, Yahweh Bashmi Shai is going to give you the cup, but double. Okay? All right? It says, uh, thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And this is happening now. Okay? Now you're drunk and mad off of, off of your, 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 um, your uh, false godhood. Because you think the whole world is, is, is deceived, but the Most High is putting the spirit back in his people to wake up to who they are. You know? I got a preach okay. up for you, bro. Okay, hold on real quick. I still like you. Come, uh, come. Right? It says, and shall make thyself naked because you're being exposed. Because now we could bring out this information. We could bring the truth out. We could let you know who you are, how much of a devil you are, how, how we know what you did to us. Okay, and 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 we're gonna reveal your judgment. Okay, God. it says the uh, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So our punishment is over. Our punishment is over. We don't have to go through the hell and slavery and chains and, and being oppressed anymore, man. Okay, it says he will no more carry thee away into captivity, right? But it says, but he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And your sins are being uncovered, man. You know, at this point. That's why me and the brother here can uh, go with the articles and the scriptures and prophecies and, 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 and edify the Most High's chosen. Okay. Okay, of Israel. You got it, Okay. This is... Um... I'll just give a, just a, another preacher to back you up. This is uh, Revelations 18 and 5. Uh, for her sins have reached her to heaven. God. The Most High have remembered her iniquities. That's talking about Babylon and all you Edomites, man. Okay. Yo, yo, sin, the sins of this country and its iniquities is reached unto the heavens, man. And we further pushing it. Okay. Every time we make a video like this, this is a sigh and a cry to the Lord, man, to remember. And bring forth judgment. Okay. Verse six. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. Okay, so the Lord, just because we asked for it, the Lord's gone and he's gonna do it anyway because it's prophesied. But it's time for you to get double, man. So we just not talking out of uh Want of um, not only want of revenge, but the Lord said He's gonna get double, man. He's gonna get double, double her, her double according to her works in the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. So that cup that you made us drink all this affliction, the murder, the shame, the poverty. It's time for you to get double that, man. Before it's over, everybody gonna know what you did, who you are. And why you getting what you getting? And nobody gonna feel sorry for you. And not even the heathens gonna. That's right. That's right. And the whole earth is gonna rejoice at your downfall. The trees and the animals are gonna rejoice, man. Okay, at the fall of of uh, uh, this devil. You know. Um. Uh, I'm gonna read this precept. Just you know, continue on with cutting down our people following these uh these uh these uh false holidays. Okay, that the so-called white man has set up like Thanksgiving. All right, this is Jeremiah 10. 
Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? The way of the heathen that, that our people are being seduced into believing in right now is Thanksgiving. Okay? Because his, his, this is his, his holiday. His victory over the Israelites. God. Okay? And this is something that he deceived our people into believing in and worshiping and going in, okay? Praying to the, uh, 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 Cesare Borgia, okay? All right? Okay? God. And, 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 and uh, you know, thanking, thanking uh, uh, these devils for what they've done. And it's not to be slow. Okay? Um, you know, and it goes on to talk about uh, the signs of heaven and things like that. But the point is, learn not the ways of the heathen. That's right. right? He says the customs of the people are vain. Vain. That's vain. right. Okay? You go into that word way. He was talking about their, their ways in which they worship. Okay? Their religious practices. Okay? Just so you, for you simple uh, Israelites out there that say, well, that's talking about just following them. Just where they going, you don't go. Wherever they walk, you don't walk. Okay, because Jake, real simple, man. Okay, when you go into that word, way, it's referring to the, the way their religious customs, man, their ways of life, their worship. Okay? So, yeah, right. I got it, bro. Right, okay. Um, uh, one second. I got another precept. This is... uh. Uh, Amos chapter 5 Amos 5 and 21 it says I hate I despise your feast days kind bro <laughs> and kind. I would not smell in your solemn assemblies right and it says your holy days the most high despises the ways of the heathen and these holidays and things like that, that that his people's worshiping, okay? He says he hate. There's hate right there in the Bible for you Christians out there, man. And this is a, a, a double cut to you Christians, man, okay? You know? We should uh, call this lesson the cut to the, uh, the Christians. Uh, 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 Thanksgiving was a massacre, you know? Yeah. Some, you know, something along those lines, you something know? Something along just, those lines, bro. Yeah, bro. You know? Okay? Because because our people, here it is, they say they believe in the scriptures in the Bible, and the Most High talks about his own holy day. He talks about Passover and the Feast of Tabernacles, okay? He talks about the uh, 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 Pentecost. We got the Day of Atonement where we fast for 24 hours without eating and drinking, praying to the Lord, being in the Spirit. We have our own days. God has, uh, the Most High, the Habashan was shot, has ordained what days he wants to set apart to worship him upon is high holy days okay but our people follow the ways of america and because they use the bible where it might say the word thanksgiving or well, i mean i mean that's just a word but or, or, or a phrase but the point is the ways of worship and the customs are not in the scriptures the, huh. our people in the past didn't celebrate thanksgiving okay we went to Jerusalem wow. three times a year. We can't even keep the the whole day and, and those things perfectly in this day and age because of our captivity. But this wow. is why we have to turn our people back and deter them away, steer them away from their left hand path, man, and get them back on the right path. All right. It says, it says, though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I would not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts, which is which uh, 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 the note to translate the peace offerings. The word there is thank offerings. <laughs> Jake, 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 tomorrow, you know, Jake, you know, tomorrow evening, Jake's going to gather around the table and yeah. say what you're thankful for. What you thankful for, little Earl? What you thankful for, uh, 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 Miss Patty? Grandma, what you thankful for? Granddaddy, what you thankful for? Jake is finished, man. 
Cousin JJ, what you thankful for? Lil Peanut, what you thankful for? The most I say he's not going to accept them. Okay? It says, take that away from me, the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. Most not, he's not dealing with these, this, this, this mirth spirit. He's old, thankful to God's spirits. His people are going to be singing tomorrow and all over the radio. They're going to be singing. You know, you're going to have them old Christmas songs by Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole and, you know, Smokey Robinson and all of them. You're playing on, the, you know, them old school joints, man. <laughs> that whole spirit, man, the most high is not dealing with that. Huh. But this is what he does say. This is uh, verse 24. It says, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. And that's our job. To we, 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 we are the judges. We can judge you. We can judge you, man. Okay? We sit in the judgment seat through the spirit and power of your how about you, was shy. Okay? The apostles of Great Millstone on down. Us men here at GMS, we are the judges. Okay? And we're letting righteousness roll down through this living water as streams by posting these videos and doing these, uh, these lessons. Okay? To keep the people, um, um, and you know, going down the right path, you know, the elect to wake up the elect of Israel, the chosen ones. Okay. I got a precept for you, bro. Just in case, you know, Jake seen this video and want to get simple, okay? Especially because they're a little sensitive about that word judge, okay? All right. We're gonna it's end a, it off in a little bit. Right? Okay. Con, this is uh, Judges 7 and 24. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment, okay? And what we're righteous. doing right now, breaking up Thanksgiving, this is righteous judgment. Mm -hmm. okay. This is this Thanksgiving deserves to be destroyed, okay? And right. everybody that don't want to let it go, they deserve to be destroyed. Man. Right. Right. Con, bro, what were you going to say? Uh, uh, nah, you know, you had it. Um... I disagree. You're right. You know, all these people that, that uh, continue to despise what we're saying, okay, and they're stuck in the ways of this place, Yahweh Shai is going to judge you, man, okay? He's going to put forth death and destruction, okay? All right? You people sitting here playing, praying to God and Jesus tomorrow, the most high have you choke on that goddamn turkey bone, man. That damn wishbone. That damn fucking bust of your esophagus or something. You get choked and you try to do the homic maneuver. And damn, that's it, man. Okay? You got to kick the bucket. Okay? Or somebody leave the turkey in the oven for too long and the whole house burned down. Okay? Huh. Right? Um... Yeah, I'm going to read that again. This is Amos 5 and 23. It says, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Okay. Huh. And what you know about uh, mighty streams, bro? You can't, you, hey, nothing can really stop a mighty stream. No, look at a waterfall. Okay. Yeah, prime example, Niagara Falls. Look at it, man. You know how many lives Niagara Falls have claimed? Okay, people want to uh, think they can just jump it, just see if they can survive. No, man. That's why you're not really supposed to, to go against the, the, you're not supposed to force the course of the river. Either. Every time, Jake, every time you you reject the knowledge, okay, you, you force, you're forcing the Lord's hand of judgment, man. You're going to force it. You leave them no other choice. You must be destroyed. Because as the scriptures say, man, if the Lord allowed this to go on, man, we'll end up like Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, yeah. Just fin just walking finishness, man. Yeah, which with that with that basically means we would all be destroyed. Yeah. You know, as as, as Sodom and Gomorrah and the other three seas were totally destroyed, we would have been totally destroyed like destroyed. Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. That's right, bro. None of us will be, none of us will get a shot at redemption, bro. God. Somebody got to stand up and, and, and stop this, man. As the scriptures say, man, who will rise up for me against the evil Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you people don't realize, you people don't perceive that you do evil, man. 
And then a lot of you know at the same time because when somebody bring it out, man, your whole your whole cutting has changed, man. That that the spirit cut, man. As the scriptures say, man, the the, the words, the Lord words are sharper than any two edged sword, man. Okay. So if you feel bit in the spirit, if you feel cut in the spirit, hey man, repent, man. Right. That's all you gotta do. Stop being a nigga, man. Stop being an asshole. Stop being undisciplined. Stop being weak. And give up that fuck shit and realize that Thanksgiving, along with a whole host of other holidays, celebrations, all a whole lot of other customs, they ain't got shit to do with you, man. No, it doesn't. That's an Edomite custom, man. Thanksgiving is an Edomite holiday, a devil right. holiday, a white. That's the white man's holiday of uh, of, of him slaughtering the tribe of Gad. Okay. What? Um. Uh, I don't really have nothing else. So, um, I'll, I'll get one more precept, bro, and we can wrap it up if you would like. Okay. Good. Come, okay. Come, right? This is a uh, Proverbs three. And 31, if he thou not the oppressor and choose, and choose none of his ways. Okay, that's pretty much what Jake doing, man. Jake just yeah. in these Edomites, man. They're just uh they're just following behind these Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're following behind Esau, they're following behind uh 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 Moab, they're following behind Elam, they're following behind these heathens, but you know, the Most High is going to judge them for that. You know? Okay. This law has got you. Okay? And your only hope, your only way up out of this, this mental and spiritual prison, this prison here in America, and your condition, is through redemption, through the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah, the Deliverer. Okay? That's your only way up out of this hellhole, man. Okay. Coming back to the Heavenly Father, coming back to uh, uh, um, his law, statutes, commandments, and having faith and hope to be delivered. Uh, Salaki, man, I, I got to read this. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Uh, right? This is, uh, this is uh, the book of Judges, chapter 5 and 11. Because this is what we're supposed to be doing. Okay? Not choosing the ways of the oppressor. Okay, choosing the words of these Edomites. Okay, Esau, but it says this uh, Judges 5 on 11. They that are delivered, okay, which you have, like I just mentioned, you have a the deliverer, okay, of the elect. It says, They that are delivered from the north of archers and the places of drawing water, which, which is talking about captivity and slavery, right? right. It says, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. And uh, 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 Thanksgiving is not a righteous act of the Lord. Okay. Neither is Christmas. Neither is your birthday. Okay? Or none of these holidays, man. That's right. The righteous acts of the Lord are his laws, statutes, and commandments. For a man to grow his beard. For a woman to be to dress in modest apparel, wear a dress. Okay? To not be a homosexual. To not eat pork. Okay? To follow Passover, to follow Pentecost, to follow the Feast of Tabernacles. Okay? It says, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord, Yahweh Bashman Abu Shai, go down to the gates. Okay? And the gates of what? Okay? All right? What's the gates? The gates. It's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Okay? All right. This is uh, Revelation 21 and 10. It says, And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, the sitting out of heaven from the most high. That's, that's uh, the Israelites, the elite, the chosen, coming back down to establish the kingdom on the planet Earth. Okay? Uh -huh. It says, it says, having the glory of the Most High, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. 
and had a great and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and the gate 12 angels and names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel which includes the native americans which are the tribes of Gad so once the elect of the tribe of Gad is woken up and is preaching his word and doing what they're supposed to do okay we we all, all the elect 144,000 and the rest of the one third are going to be delivered from this, this captivity. Okay. And we're going to go, go back down to the gates because we were rehearsing the righteous acts. Wearing the garments with the fringes, with the border of blue on them. Okay. That's, on, that's our uh, heritage. That's right. So the Thanksgiving, man. Come. All right. It's about doing what the Lord said to do. Okay. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, so it's time to repent. Okay? That's right. All right. Um, so with that, uh, we're going to end it there. I uh, hope you know, brothers were edified. We'll give all praises to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone that rule well. Uh, double honors to the, uh, uh, the elders. Shalom to the rest of the brothers, the elders. Okay, the camp leaders, the camp heads, the brothers that's that's doing the right thing, staying in order. Okay, um, I know we're in that time. Let's continue to push forward and push the truth out at a high capacity. And uh, like I said, I hope all uh, was edified. The brothers, a, a few sisters. Okay, and Lord willing, see you in the ne uh, uh, next lesson, next video. Shalom. Shalom.